Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Girl You Know It. Well, it's not just an episode. It is season four of Girl You Know yes, It. Yes, it is. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, Girl You Know It is an offshoot podcast for Black Women Connect Vancouver, where we want to create connection spaces in different ways to talk about our shared experience as Black women and femmes in a serious and silly ways and everything in between. I want to (laughs) welcome you. My name is Abby. I am one of your wonderful hosts. And we have the wonderful, the only. Bye. The both. What? You know what the first thing she says is bye? (laughs) You already know what type of episode today is going to be like. All the sass. Everything. Girl, we have the wonderful Elle and Natasia joining as well. Oh, thank you. Oh, we don't get to introduce ourselves. I'm going to do both. I'm just going to add them too. Okay, I I am Elle. I'm going to take this over. I'm Elle. I am the Community Engagement and Volunteer Coordinator for Black Wing Connect Vancouver. I'm excited to be here for episode one of season four. Yeah, and then, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Natasha McCoffey, and I am the founder Ooh. of Black Women Connect Vancouver. Okay. It's nice to see everybody here. Look again. at that calm, cool. I know. I'm trying to talk like Elle. I'm trying to talk like Elle. She has a good, great podcasting voice. I, so. I'm I'm not, you, do. I, you do. You do. You do. It's a, it's a it's good thing. Just accept it. I'm going to accept it. That's why I stopped. I accept it. Accept it. I'm accepting it. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I mean, it's not her her, 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 her voice, so. <laughs> She's changing it. Yeah, that voice. Well, It'll ladies, come out. It'll come out. Ladies, let's cheers to season four, Ooh. episode one. Clink, clink, clink. This clink, is how clink, we're doing clink, this year. Yeah. Look each other in the eyes. Look oh, yeah. in hand. Go to make sure. Mm-hmm. I want that good Very sex, good. y'all, so. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> My parents listen to this. Oh, sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> you can cut that out in the <laughs> post. Post, no. <laughs> my goodness well ladies today in this episode we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about something fun fun and wonderful is we're fun? talking about not wonderful it is wonderful <laughs> it, is, it, it can be honestly it yeah. can be <laughs> sorry continue but before we're excited. we get into before i say the topic i'm just gonna do a few would you rather questions and we'll see if like our our listeners can guess what we're gonna be talking oh, about okay yeah, we're doing something different. They're getting scared. because I know, I'm like, mm, I haven't even what? looked over these questions. Huh? Did I approve? Never. <laughs> Did okay. I approve? Okay, so the first would you rather question. Okay. Okay, would you rather wear heels that are kind of ugly and old but super comfortable or wear gorgeous heels that everyone loves but torture your feet and give you blisters? Old and ugly. <laughs> No, because I have ankle problems. I am not suffering and going home and icing my ankle for the next month. Mm-mm. Okay. I'll, you can make ugly work. That's fair. Can I ask a follow-up question? Yes. yes. Okay. Always with the follow-up. Oh, baby. Always me. Give it. Okay. Give it. So if I choose the beautiful but uncomfortable, mm-hmm. how long am I wearing those shoes? Because you know that that's like a psychological game, yes, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. I agree. But you get blisters and either I'm way. just saying it's, it's going to be for a night out. Okay. Not a dinner. A night, night out, out dancing. Yes. And I cannot bring another no, set. No, girl. A it's a would you rather. Like, there's okay, no okay, like, okay, there's okay, no okay, story okay, behind okay. this. Comfortable, <laughs> beautiful, gorgeous, <laughs> torture. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go with the torture because this is torturous right now. <laughs> I'm going to go beautiful and torturous. You know what? I would do the same. Yeah, I, would do, I, I know do y'all would. Thing, but there's many ankles that I have twisted <laughs> yeah, because do I chose it. that. I'm too old. <laughs> Maybe, okay, let me, let me readjust that. I would have done that previously. Mm-hmm. But now I'm wearing the ugly. But I'm, I never have old and ugly. That's true. Your your shoes are always y'all cute. are diving deep into this question. It's a would you rather <laughs> it's like a light-handed question. You won't get too deep. Okay, next would you rather question? Would you <laughs> would you rather wear a velvet tracksuit mm-hmm. with bling every oh. day for a year, mm-hmm. or wear Ed Hardy shirt every day for a year? 
the bling track shoes. Bling. <laughs> Listen, baby fat is coming back. Exactly. Hey, baby fat. Juicy on the butt. Exactly. Exactly. I've been wanting to get our whole family a set of those velvet tracks. Which so family? Your, your, your family or yes, you and your husband? Family. Yes. Because yes. your husband in a tracksuit, bless. You. <laughs> <laughs> you would pick the Ed Hardy, no way. He would just silently support you, but like, and have juicy on the butt. I don't know about this. I don't think I would be able to get <laughs> yeah, there's no way my husband's honest. wearing that. Not nah, even none of slide. that. Okay, last <laughs> would you rather question. Um, would you... Okay. Mm, well, now I'm trying to like decide which one. Okay. Would you rather wear yoga pants every single day or wear jeans? Oh, that's day? the worst. Jeans. I'm a big jeans person. Jeans I feel like person. I just look better in jeans. And Vancouver's so yoga pants, like, it I'm drives going, me absolutely Yeah, insane. that's fair, but I'm going for comfort. I'm going to do the yoga pants. I'm Every gonna, single day I'm for gonna a be year. A sheep. I'm going to be a sheep and do the yoga pants <laughs> because I want to be comfortable. Jeans are not comfortable for me. That's true. Well, it depends on what jeans. type of. Th- that's why you don't see me in jeans because I'm not. Yeah, I don't think so I've good. ever seen you in but jeans. But she would look so good in like those like flare well, like yeah. long. So for I sure. have thought about that. Like, your I like, legs? I would be wearing those all the time. I have thought about that. I will continue to pursue that as yeah. a dream. But <laughs> any right other, now, any other, I have a dream. <laughs> any other jeans make me cringe. I will. I will yeah, if I had legs like yours, listen, the way I'd be wearing the rocking those flare seventies pants. Finding the right pair of jeans is. Yes, it is the hard. thing is with okay we're talking about a whole year jeans there's different types of jeans right there's different style mm, of baggy jeans, jeans yeah. now right exactly yeah. so i think i would do the jeans just because there's more uh, variety vers- variety okay but like my follow-up question <laughs> yes. uh no this is too yeah. deep let's move on <laughs> okay <laughs> okay let's move on let's, let's do a little catch up because the last time we were able to all be together has been a hot minute. It's been a really long time. So what has been like going on with everybody? Ooh. What's been going on with you, L? Okay. Let's start off with you, baby girl. So, <laughs> so the, the biggest thing is I had a Beyonce themed yes. birthday party as a Leo. I was so extra. She was, burger she was very sweet. I was extra. I had an outfit change. Mm-hmm. I had a photographer. A pro. A pro. I had a yes. DJ and I had an email the DJ the everywhere. day before being like, the, under, the assignment is Beyonce the, only. Beyonce duet. Beyonce featured. Destiny's Child. If you play anything other than that, you out of here. You out of here. But he loved it. He loved it. He was, he was like, I was so nervous when you sent me that message. <laughs> I listened to Beyonce all day. I was ready. I'm like, you understood the assignment. Yes, exactly what you wanted. Yep. And he, he got and it. And he was singing the whole time. I was, was like, oh, you love Beyonce He too. loved it. So I'm going to hire him for my next birthday. So if you're cool <laughs> enough to come to my birthday party next year, oh, okay. you'll see that. Yes, I love it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so good. So you turned 33. I turned 33. Yeah, the holy year. That's mm-hmm. uh, going to be a really good year. Yeah. Is that that's what it's called? I'm just saying it. Oh. That's, the, <laughs> that's like what she decided. <laughs> like, I that. You're like, is that something new? <laughs> is, this a, is this a Leo thing? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just going off of like, you know, if you subscribe to Christianity, the year <laughs> Jesus' dad was 33. So I'm like, this is my holy yeah. year. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. But. Oh, well, approximately. Well, I'm yeah. not going to get to fact finding because yeah, no. y'all are going to get really mad. No, nah, I don't yeah. even so, know. Uh, I thought it was 30. <laughs> so, <laughs> listen, I don't know anything. <laughs> how does yeah. anybody really know? How are you, Abby? Wait, oh, that's all that happened to you? You turned 33? That's all. But for the how many okay. months have this been? Okay, okay. I did a lot of therapy. Okay. Um, I uh, took a long, 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 long break from dating. You took a long one. I took a long one. This is one that I was like, I wanted to be intentional mm-hmm. about, like, doing some work and like pr- like processing a lot of issues that had come up um and now i'm back on the apps and Ooh. it is it is abysmal <laughs> I feel like it just gets worse and worse. It's worse. It gets and, it's, worse. and you find the same people. And, it's same, and, and not that it's a bad thing to find the same people. It's more like people don't want to talk as much. So this year, in my whole year, 33, I'm going to focus on in-person meet cutes. Oh, I'm going to work okay. on the eyes, the flirting of the eyes. Mm-hmm. I have these Her dating, feminine energy. I have these dating business cards that I'm going to go hand Stop. out. So if you... Not a dating business card. Yes, I do. have I had it. it. Yeah, I, I had I it made it. like last year and I never really... I had it at like two, but I never really like... <laughs> You know, did it. So this is the year that. This is the year. Y'all, if you get a business card from me, I think you're cute. (laughs) (laughs) You should hang out and go on a date with me. (laughs) 
I'm cool. Maybe sometimes. <laughs> Maybe your friends and my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for you. Thank you. Well, I really do hope this is a great year. I'm very, and, and even if it, like, I don't do the whole dating thing, mm-hmm. I feel just a lot more grounded in myself and, like, at peace with what is going on. And I got so many girlfriends, as evidenced by my Beyonce theme birthday party. <laughs> it was so much okay. fun. Yes. People Aww. flew in. People came out. Oh, they friends, I love out. when friends That's do something like so that. Yeah. It, was, it was a That's great amazing. time. I had fun yeah. as the pictures. <laughs> Victor, Victor, I'm calling you out. <laughs> Victor cared about me and did not care about the time. <laughs> At all. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> did, him, did you dirty? No, but no, they didn't do her like dirty, not dirty, 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 dirty. But I was like, having fun. Impressive. Exactly. Yeah. You he were found fun. every moment that she moved her face. <laughs> I love that <this> song. <laughs> Everybody got to see her molars. Yeah. That's great. Seriously. But Natasha, how about this year? How how have you been? Oh. Well, there's been a, a oh. change. Has there? I'm just joking. Girl, <laughs> I had a whole baby. Yeah, she yeah. had a whole baby. <laughs> yes, he's so cute. He I love is him. Really cute. My little baby Zakari. Oh. Yes. Um. So he's about eight, nine months now, and yeah, he's like the best thing ever. He's so cool. He's so chill. Oh. He's funny. Like he makes me laugh all the time. Like I actually think he's a comedian. <laughs> and yeah, I just, it's motherhood is great. It's tiring. It's exhausting. It's everything that everybody says it is. Um. But it's also beautiful and wonderful. And yeah, I'm excited to see kind of like his personality crowd out of it and yeah I think for us it's been interesting kind of navigating what parenthood looks like for us how mm-hmm. do you like change things that you didn't want that your parents did what do you yeah. want to have for your child and all these things you know and I'm not even gonna lie he's an easy baby I'm not like he sleeps through the Lucky. night like he's just great like I can't even like complain that he's like yeah, like I'm really blessed that's why I'm like I don't know if I want a second one because I might have a nightmare of a child and, <laughs> and I'll be like Zakari yeah, scarred me <laughs> Yeah, that boy is amazing. Sleeps, yeah, it's easy. Literally the most routine baby ever. Wakes up at 6.30, does his thing, eats, sleeps, put him down, naps, wake up, does the Bless. same thing, and then 8 o'clock in bed. Damn. Yeah. Wonderful. Listen. Oh, I'm you got to so lie to all the you. other parents. Like, I know. Oh, I'm like, it's tiring. Oh. My baby never sleeps. Oh. <laughs> I mean, sleep aggression is hell. Yeah. I will say that. But yeah, we've been, but we were intentional also in sleep training because I was like, this can't be our life. Like, we yeah. need to leave the house. And also, like, it's just easier for your life mm-hmm. for than anything else. Yeah. So. Well, that's if you co-sleep thing. and all that, yep. listen, I'm I'm not against it. It just it works it's for whatever be. your life works for for your yeah. schedule yeah. because it just couldn't work for our schedules. Yeah, well, but yeah, I think that's really all that's happened in my life. It's been oh pretty. Goodness. You guys back. both did like big things. I'm like, baby girl, what's you, Abby? I really haven't done the much. You went to Kenya. <laughs> yeah, you had a big trip home. with your husband. You went. Oh to yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me forgetting my life. Thank you, friends. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, I just blocked that completely out of my memory, I guess. <laughs> I'm, anyways, no, it was good. My first time. <laughs> Sorry. So, you, Sorry. We spent all this money, but it's okay. It, no, it was good. It was just quite busy. Yeah. yeah. Very, it's very full busy. when you go home. Mm. Very busy. Yeah. And all the I, families. I don't think I could do it again, but I feel like I say that every trip. But no, this trip, after this trip, I really mean it because... Well, it's my husband's first time yeah. going to Kenya yeah. and meeting Everybody. all of my family yeah. and or also just experiencing um, what it was like to to give back to our community. Mm-hmm. Um, my family is really big on, um, yeah, giving back to people yeah. and we were able to use most of our trip giving back to the Maasai people. Oh. Uh, we uh, built a church in my grandmother's name. My grandma wrote their past, my Shosho past last year. Mm-hmm. And um, she was the matriarch of our family. And so we wanted to do something to honor her and to honor the God that she loves so, she loves so fiercely, mm-hmm. right? And so we were able to build a church in her name mm-hmm. um, within the Maasai land. So we had to, my husband he walked. Work. He worked. He, no, walk. he walked. Because mm-hmm. this is like, not like just out of the road. Yeah, it's like he, village area, a trek up the hill. Yeah, he <laughs> trekked through cornfields. Damn. Like, he went there, but he did it and he got to experience it and he got to see a piece of my life. Mm-hmm. And so that was a good, it was just, it was, it was good. 
It was a lot, but it was good. <laughs> I mean, it's always hard going back home because you're just like, okay, we want to see family, but listen, you can't dictate my trip. So because that was supposed to also be like yeah. slash honeymoon. Yeah, exactly. I don't count it, was it not, as if my not that, no false. Lies. <laughs> Last fairy tales. <laughs> Curtis was sick most. Of the time. Yeah. <laughs> On the coast, my poor husband. But it's okay. I dined. I, had pictures of I know sometimes she would snap and be like, "Oh, alone." I was like, "Wait, where's your husband?" <laughs> She's like, "Oh, he's sleeping. He's or sleeping. Sick. You're in the toilet." Yeah. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> That's the thing. But when people don't know when you travel back, like for oh, us, we're used to it. But yeah. I'm always telling people, I'm like, "Listen, you can't just be eating anything and everything. Mm. Like, you have to get special kind of water. Like, yeah. you need to do. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. be prepared. Bring the things that you need to bring. Bring your but like even when you are prepared and diarrhea still, it's <laughs> still, still it can still be game over I exactly. definitely got my for my first few tips going back to them I was very like I was like violently sick yeah, yeah it was just like because you have to finally just get used to it and yeah it takes bless a while. him yeah. and you know what three weeks is not enough time it's not, clearly it's not <laughs> yeah no. but yeah anyways Let's go back to what we were talking about, ladies, because we did a few would you rather questions. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you guys know what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about fashion mm, and fashion. style and Natasha is so <laughs> comfortable with this topic. <laughs> she is just overjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I roll with the I the oh my goodness. Okay, but like. First question, how would you describe your personal style now to this day? Would it be like, okay, there's like sporty, there's like boho, there's like all these different, why you side IED? Because listen, I'm a mother now. So? I just, <laughs> I'm not saying, wow, oh. did I finish my sentence? Okay. <laughs> First of all, what I'm saying is I don't even fit clothes. So I'm like, I don't know. Whatever style fits me is how I feel at this moment. I feel that. But I, I do I, feel I, like I do Elle's feel birthday, I was like, okay, I can fit this jumpsuit. This is cute. Okay. It was, you were cute. Yeah, was like, cute. so I was like, okay, I can feel like I'm getting back to like what can fit me now because my body has fully changed. Yeah. So now I'm like, okay, yeah. what style fits this new body? Yes. So I think I'm figuring out what it is. But I'm still very much like I love jeans. Um, I love anything denim. I will – I. I I think my favorite season is fall because mm -hmm. I love sweaters. I love like wearing baggy things. And then like for work, I love wearing blazers and like things like that. So I don't know. I guess I'm You're like, like business. Cas yeah. Business you casual. Are business yeah. that. Casual. Like that's your yeah, style. Yeah. I would hundred percent. Like mm -hmm. How about you, Al? So it's funny because um, as someone who's like, I need to lean more into my feminine side. I wear a lot of skirts and dresses. Yes. That's all I wear. Yeah, so that's all I wear. That's why we're like, we've never seen you yeah, in I jeans. Know, I was I like, know. <laughs> <laughs> nobody sees me in pants. And like, if I do, it's like overall. Yeah. Mm. and that feels like a departure. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like my favorite, my favorite season is summer because A, it's my birthday, and B, because I can wear all these like mm -hmm. flowing dresses, uh, skirt like, sets, and that know. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um. But I feel like I am in my, like, oh, I feel like I've been in, like, this, like, anti. Like, you know, when you were younger, you, like, had anti vibes and, like, they were, like, dressed mm -hmm. and, like, had the jacket and da, 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 and, and fall. That's where I go to. Yeah. And uh, before I was like, oh, I look an anti. Now I'm like, hey, I am an anti. I'm a full <laughs> anti. It's all good. I've accepted <laughs> it. I, I come in an and all that kind of stuff. So, like, that's the kind of vibe. Like, I will say, like, rich anti supreme. Oh, yes. Yes. definitely. That's, yes. that's my vibe. Rich like, oh, like, coming through <laughs> with all that. So, we'll see if she adds pants into the mix at some <laughs> yes. point. Yes, flowy pants. You know, a little flare. Like yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. For me, I'm. I kind of been everywhere. Yeah. I honestly, like, for a time, it was, like, skater and, like, this and that. But always, I'm wearing something tight. That's, yeah. Yes. That's You're form-fitting every time. I love yeah. a good form-fitting yeah. fits. Yeah. That's my vibe. That's your, I've been trying vibe. to get more, like, loose-fitting and also adjusting my style to my workplace as mm. well. <laughs> it's really um, what do you do you for work Abby? I work at a school yeah. so I have to be appropriate but I, I feel like I I can be appropriate and I can still be sexy and cute and cheek yeah. like yeah. I don't want to I don't want to die that down that's something that yeah. I've never wanted yeah. to do yeah. and so people always say Abby you always have such nice outfits and I'm like I just <laughs> don't want to yeah. go that way. Yeah, yeah. Right? and also and you don't it, want two different 
outfit, like wardrobes. That's that's silly. That's a, we, in, in this economy, you don't no, have time. No, I don't have the time. Yeah. but it's difficult though because mm-hmm. I tend to wear very low. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was also gonna say I'm like, and you also <laughs> show oh, <laughs> girls out. Exactly. <laughs> okay, but like, ladies, thinking about your past styles, what do you think? How has it evolved since that we? Girl, <laughs> are we gonna do this now? Yes, we are gonna do this now because I, uh, I didn't even. Sure. I'm not. I'm just. <laughs> what I'm saying, I got these girls to give me photos of their past looks of uh, them as tweens or young adults. This one didn't provide any documentation, <laughs> nope. but it's okay. Those it's are coming. hidden. They're it's hidden. Coming. It's a- Coming. My husband hasn't even seen those photos, please. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yes. Every time I look attractive. back at my photos, I'm like, cringe. Yeah. But that's how I got here it's today. Very, it's very fair. Yeah. You know, yeah. how would you say, okay, so how would you say your past style was? Was? Yeah, okay. like, what was did it? Did you ever, did y'all ever watch um, My Big Fat Greek Wedding? Yes. I actually just watched it yesterday. Okay, do you remember it's how- random. Tula was like from girl and she's yeah, like yeah. talking to her guy like, I was from girl and he's oh. like I remember you but I don't remember from girl I was from girl me L oh, was from girl that. it's a re- you have to watch it you again, have to okay. watch it again. but just- I was I was from girl it was so funny because I would <laughs> I used to work at like Banana Republic and Aldo oh, and my Aldo. Sis- these are good and stores my, okay but and my sister would be like how the hell are you working there? You dress like a front <laughs> girl. You you are not fashionable. It would just come for like, you. Like literally come for me. Oh and like my goodness. to the point is like the the pictures that I, I I offered are not from high school because I literally yeah, I untagged. No, I don't even know where they are because they're out in from, the world. People from high school would tag me and I'd be like. How dare and untag <laughs> myself because I don't ever want to go back and look yes. at that person. And that's like, I guess, like we can dive into therapy. It's like, why don't you want to look at yourself? But like, I don't want to look at her. <laughs> she was. It's okay. From <laughs> property from. So the the pictures that I submitted yes. were a time where yes, my my fashion was kind of out of control. I, I like belts around dresses. Yes, okay, we did but the belts. I feel like we all this did that. Like m- millennial, mm-hmm. like yeah. our generation, yeah. we had the big chunky belts. Yeah, we had you know those tiny. Tops with the flare, yeah, like yeah. Peplum, not peplum, is but it yeah. peplum? Peplum, peplum, yeah. Peplum yes, shirts, yes. We had the high low dresses, high low dresses. Yeah, we had this shit is coming back now. It though. actually is. People are coming back. <laughs> and then as black girls, our hair. Oh. I had bangs. Yeah, I had bangs. Yeah. Oh. I wore weaves. When yeah, I was like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I had when a really I bad one. Picture of L. <laughs> she had bangs. I said bangs. Bangs. This is cute one. And in every in every wig, she had bangs. 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 She had curly bangs. She had straight bangs. She had them yeah, whooped in. I, I literally did. I don't know why. All of them. I like my forehead. I don't know what's going <laughs> You're Kenyan, except black. Exactly. East African girl. I'm yes. an East African girl. I yes. love my forehead. Yes. I love it. <laughs> but but yes. honestly, we all did pretty much the same. Yeah, thing. when I look at your photos, I'm like, I pretty much I had the same. Oh, you know that, that skirt that, skirt that had the big rubber? Or uh, like 100%. That elastic yeah. That is just like. Right Yes. And I now that I look at them, why would I do that to myself? Why? Like, a, a, an occasional why? belt is nice, but like, I live my life with like a tw- 20 belts that I can choose from. I for know. like 15 dresses. How many belts and, like, do you have now? I have one. Yes. I don't <laughs> even know one. if I own a belt. It's an old one. It's like, like I've kept it. It's one the one that's like traveled with me yes. since like that time. Like, I'm not going to throw you out. You're going to come in handy at some point. <laughs> it's like the jewelry too, back. though. That's like, true. Yeah, because now I'm like looking, I'm like, mm, let me donate. Like, uh, I don't need all much jewelry like that. Like now yeah. it's like the everyone's like change. minimalist. Oh yes, yeah. now it's simple, mm-hmm. clean styles, yeah. right? But before it was like chunky, chunky yeah. layered, multiple, multiple necklaces, necklaces, multiple like everything. Yes. Like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I'm anymore. tired thinking about it. Honestly, going back, I'm like looking at my photos. Okay, was it? You were a cutie pie. I was a cutie. Still wearing something tight to this day. You were. You were wearing. You had a hat. You had a monster hat with your. That was my one of my birthdays. I did a fifties theme. How did that? Wait. I don't know. No. Let's see. No, that is not. Yeah. Is it a truck? Well, like the the guys never changed and did a stylized things. My girls did. Yeah. Whether it was correct to that time period is another question. (laughs) But. It is what it is. Oh, can we talk and about the cardigans? The, oh, oh yeah. the cardigan. Everybody got a card. Well, yeah. I was church girl. That's you know, yeah. you were church I, girl. I was a church girl, and a lot of the stuff that I wanted to wear, I wasn't allowed to. Yeah. 
So I was allowed to with a cardigan or with like a cover because <laughs> I've, I've always been a blessed, yeah, a indi- blessed child, a blessed individual <laughs> with the pastors in, in and every dad. area of my life, especially here. And so everything had to be, of course, Covered. yes. But now as an adult, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> The Lord clothes me the way I am. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, but can we can we go to the title? Nah, I barely you even have, show this. Can you you I, okay, let me say this. Let yes. me say this. So, wait, we wanna we wanna. No there's evidence. barely any photos, like the evidence or whatever. It's in the file. It's just not in that page. It's in the file. Sorry, I don't know how to upload it properly. In the file. Oh, it's in the where? file. Where? But where? It's in the file. Right there. Which file? The same file. Oh, now we have to go into the files. Yes. We gotta pull this up. Yo. Okay, first, while they look, what I want to say is okay. I was very much a tomboy growing up. Like, in every way, like, what you see now is not what I was dressing like. I was, I, I skateboarded as I well. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was very much a skater girl. Where did you um, live again? In Saskatchewan. <laughs> but I was also a tomboy even when I was younger. Like, I was just always playing with, like, the guys. I played sports. I, So I was in the very, like, when it came to fashion, it was something I kind of had to, like, figure out which i feel sometimes i still do because i really if i could be casual i would rather be casual than dress up mm-hmm. yeah so which people think it's funny because it's like you get your nails done and blah blah but like i when you actually see me like all the time i really don't dress up at all and so yeah so growing into that it took me a while because it's like i was just so into sports and i had really bad acne like and all those things so i just feel like that stage was just like oh looking back i'm like i don't even know if anybody has any of my photos so all that so to you, say send the photos in <laughs> if you know. no because you guys are gonna call my sister yeah. um, but i will say that yeah it was like, it was a weird time in my life and so i hate showing those photos because i really look back and like pre-braces especially like my my teeth were bad like you know people are like i had braces mine were like in out like it was just so mine bad were bad too yeah and so like i just was not did you have braces i never had braces okay yeah. bless. but i was called urkel so i don't know pick mm. your poison <laughs> which one do you want <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I couldn't find the photos, so if you could bring up the yeah. the evidence so that we can all share okay, fine. in this and time. See, right? Together. Wonderful. Oh, they okay. didn't upload. <laughs> well, I also the lawyer. They didn't even upload. <laughs> Whatever. The way I was looking for those questions, like, where are they? <laughs> okay, here's one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, uh, Okay, you're cute. Whatever. Okay, so no, this one. Old, she's, she's so not, cute. She's I can't not even, even showing. Not, whatever. Okay, she's this so was a bad cute. wig though. Let's see. Okay, a cardigan. Cardigan. Oh, okay, cardigan. Okay, cardigan. The cardigan and the gla- the, the the jewelry. The glasses. Yeah, but the jewelry. jewelry. Flip flops. Like what? But I folded would, jeans. Okay, but I wouldn't look at that picture and go, "Wow, cringe." cringe. I would not. No, I know. I'm picking whatever. Like, okay, look at this so the hat. hat. The hat. The hat. Is and me. I keep. I look back, and I was wearing this hat all the time. Like, who was wearing like a knitted what, so hat? What type of hat is that called? What is? I don't it? remember. But like everybody a, had it. It's like a paper boy hat. <laughs> Yeah, like a paperboy hat. No, but everybody had it. Everyone had it. And That's I thought terrible. I was, I, like, I have in so many pictures. It's terrible. So the, the, the other picture with, like, my hand up and, like, the, like, short hair and the yeah. hat, that, that was my hat that I wore all the time. Because they used to have short, short hair. Okay, so there was a statement piece in that. Yes. So that was your statement? For a while, for that stage. I don't know. In high school, I, I wore colored hair a lot mm. in my braids. So it was always, like, blue yeah. or purple. Yeah. Like, it was very, like, loud i yeah. was very a loud person in some way mm-hmm. yeah and for you oh i didn't do, I, did, I did color when it was like grade four or five and then i just stuck to black because mm-hmm. I, in high school being from girls like i want to make myself as small mm-hmm. as possible and then i got to grade 12 and i was like i want to be president of the student council yeah. and then i went crazy yeah mm-hmm. but i still didn't like go i didn't like i didn't come into my own fashion until after high school and i don't even think until i came back home from like Ontario for yeah. school. I was like, definitely like late twenties. Yeah, okay. that's true. Yeah. I feel like I didn't find my thing thing yeah. until later on in life. Yeah. Like, yeah, until I went to university, and also until I found people that were like, "Oh, you get your vibe." I'm not trying to pretend yeah. to be yeah. something that I'm not, because of course, being in a school that's predominantly white, you're trying that's to fit all the molds. That's exactly where I I, I straighten my hair. I chemically 100%. straighten my hair because you're trying to look. But of course, my hair is not gonna flop down. It's gonna go. Boop, it's, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? It's gonna go what? <laughs> you know? I try to get the bangs and everything. Yep. Does not girl. work. But also, can we talk about how like 
um, being around, being in and around other Black women and femmes also helped me in mm-hmm. terms of my fashion. That's what I, I yeah, agree. That's what because I, I fully yeah. agree because, like, outside of even like yes, growing up in like a predominantly white school, even when like what I, I I have been living in Vancouver, which is very multicultural, you still don't see a lot of Black people. So like all the styles that fit everybody else do yep. not fit my body yes like at all yep. so like after like seeing way more black women and femmes i'm like oh i can pull that off exactly because they can pull it off exactly. and they're confident i don't even think about it they're mm-hmm. just doing it i'm like okay f- f- i'm doing that yep yeah yeah i agree like I those like the, those have been my fashion inspirations mm-hmm. mainly mm-hmm. has been other black women that i see mm-hmm. in community will come up to me in like stores mm-hmm. and we're just mm-hmm. chit-chatting and then my friends will be with me like do another person I'm like no yeah we, 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 we just we're just like where'd you get the outfit because like, your butt looks cute in that like I want my butt to look cute as well. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because like, the yeah. struggle. Yeah. Low rise yeah. yeah. But I mean, I even noticed that when we have events as well, it's like, yeah, like all the black women are always like, who do we get with? Like Absolutely. I see everyone talking to each other. And so I do agree. Like that's where we're like, oh, because we are trying to figure out ourselves, like what will look good. And, and I even notice sometimes in our group chats, like on our social media as women and be like, anybody know a good store that will fit this type of body? Yeah. I'm just like, we really, the struggle is real for fashion for black women. Honestly. And I, it's getting much better now with yeah. a lot of collaborations with influencers. Yeah. Cause then we start to know the different brands that are out there. Mm-hmm. But before it was hard. Also, just but like in inclusivity, yeah, inclusivity, yeah. right? In just these general schmegel yeah. stores, right? Yeah. Just now, it's starting to have even just plus size clothing, yeah, clothing or yeah. But that's, like, that's a, a, like that's like in, in, insane that we're like it's now just starting to have plus size clothing. It's like yeah. damn, like that's why all these young kids they look so good. Yeah, because it's so much. So we true. look horrible, but now all these young kids looking like There's adults so many because options. they have so many options. They didn't, they didn't even get that chance to look. But sometimes they look too grown, in my opinion. But that's another topic. Oh, <laughs> we're not going to touch that with no. a ten foot pole. We're going to move away from that. Yeah, we have to wrap up. Okay. Soon. It, well, one last question: If you had one item, it could be like hair, jewelry, mm-hmm. or like clothing, shoes. What is your one piece that you would never stray from? Like you would always have in your closet? Yeah. Uh, my hair. <laughs> it's not closet, but like. You but no, it's hair. a part of your style. It's part of my style. So it's part of my style. It's my hair. I've tried multiple different like hairstyles. Mm-hmm. The bangs. Yeah, the yang. The, mm-hmm. the weave, the short hair. My, my my current hair mm-hmm. is like that's that yours. I will, I will never ever leave. People are like, hey, why don't you like try like buzz cutting your hair? I'm like, are you, what? No. <laughs> <Buzz cut. laughs> no, like no, no, no. Like trying like you know your natural hair. I'm like, I just can't see myself in my mind's eye with anything other than this. And this is like my most confident self. Yeah. So this is part of my look forever and ever. And if something else changes check f- to see if i have a tumor in my head because what i don't know yes you are not getting rid of the, the lengths no how about you natasia there was one thing that you will always forever keep in as your part closet you're like as part of your fashion yes style, yes not your closet, your fashion yes style. there we go huh my nails. your nails are no your nails are always <laughs> Yeah. 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 I feel like that's the only thing I feel like I'm like, okay, this is where I can bring my feminine side that's is so, my nails. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You do it for you. Because I don't really wear makeup every day. I really don't dress. We didn't even talk about feminine. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. yeah. 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 That's the only thing that brings my feminine side. Mm-hmm. How about you, Miss Abby? For me, because like I, my style is all over the place. Mm. Um, I'll always have a pair of hoops. That's true. Where yeah. That's You're like so little ones, true. big ones, you medium size. I'm always having different type, different sizes yes. and everything. I will hoops. Yeah. I mean, even like when I was younger, hoops. Yeah. Yeah. Big as my neck, small as this. Like, honestly. Big as my neck. Like, actually. As my face. Yeah. I will my always neck. have a good pair of hoops. My I feel neck. like it can just. <laughs> What did she oh, say? She, yeah. she, we were going in a different direction to get, to get, to get all good. It's all good. It's all good. You'll have to listen. You have to listen back. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. I think this is where we're going to wrap up. Mm-hmm. Ladies, I'm so excited for this season and what it has in store. Yeah. yeah. We've got a great, yeah, great a, guests. A lot of great guests coming up. A lot of great mm-hmm. topics. It'll be a grand time. Yeah. It will. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. 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 Thank you for listening to our podcast episode. You can find us on all streaming platforms. 
and you can watch our video recording up on YouTube channel, Black Women Connect Vancouver. Until next time.